Hi, I'm Heather and I have a stamped and watercolored card to share with you today. I was using one of the flowers from the Fine Flowers Volume 2 set the other day and as I started working on it I decided I should film this. This is looking really pretty. So I stopped and started again so that I could film the whole process. I've inked the center of the flower with a spiced marmalade distress marker and then the petals with the chip sapphire ink pad and then gave the ink just a little bit of a spritz before stamping on hot press watercolor paper. I'm going to fill the panel with this flower just repeated and I'm making sure as I stamp it that I just turn it at a different angle so that the petals are always facing slightly different directions. And when I take the stamp out of the frame like that, that just means I'm spritzing it with a couple of spritzes of water and I don't want that to go over everything in the frame. Once I've filled the panel with flowers, I'm going to switch over to painting and I'm giving myself a little bit of chip sapphire and spice marmalade distress inks. They are the only colors that I'm using in this whole project and I'm using a size 4 black velvet round watercolor brush. The black velvet brushes I've had for quite some time now. They um, are one of the more expensive types of brushes I own but they were lasting really well and they really do hold quite a bit of liquid and come to that nice um, fine point at the end so that I can paint in small spaces. I'm using the Spice Marmalade to paint um, half to three quarters of all those flower centers and you'll see why in a second um, when I blend that ink out. I want each of the flower centers to have um, a bit of shadow so there's depth and shaping in them which means I've got that dark orange on one side and the blended paler orange on the other side. I didn't take time to make sure I did it on exactly the same side in each flower so I'm not thinking about where a light source is or anything like that. And even after I've blended it out I'm adding a little more of that ink to one side just to give to help give that rounded shape to the centers of the flowers. The footage of course is sped up here because I'm, it's quite repetitive. I'm showing you the same thing quite a few times. And I'm going to blend all of these little petals uh, the, in a similar manner. I'm adding a little bit of chip sapphire ink to the end of the petal that attaches to the flower. And then when I've done a few I'm diluting, well, diluting my brush with water and blending out that color I've laid down. So what I'm aiming for is a dark ends of the petals um, closest to the center of the flower and then paler color at the other end. So what I do with the water on the brush is I blend both the ink that I laid down with some of the ink that I stamped and I get these two or three toned petals. Chip Sapphire is an ink that dilutes with pinky purpley tones so some of these petals are going to not just look light blue and dark blue they're actually going to have some pink tones to them as well. And you can see that I'm trying to work on petals that don't touch the petals beside them. That just gives them time to dry they're small petals, there's not a lot of ink so they're not taking a long time to dry but I do like half a dozen at a time and then I come back and blend them. Because I'm picking up extra ink from um, the palette on the side I can actually make the, I can vary the depth of color in these petals. I can have some that have very little extra ink in them so they end up pale or I can lay down a lot of ink and have a dark petal. So all the petals will look slightly different and I think that really adds to the effect. I'm 
not being really careful either with my strokes. I am staying inside the lines, but it's a sketchy sort of design with extra sketchy lines. So if my painting doesn't stay right inside the petals, it doesn't matter. It just adds to the loose and pretty style of this stamp and this design. The whole set of Fine Flowers, Volume 2 from Darkroom Door, uh, flowers with this kind of style of the, the sketched petals, double lines here and there, and the little dots around them. They're really pretty, and I'm slowly working through using all the different flowers. When I get to my last flower, it happens to be one that overlaps with several of the other flowers, and so I thought I'd show you what I did there. I just, whenever I come close to a petal that is overlapping with another petal, I just um, blend up to the point of the overlap. I don't blend over the other petal. So it just makes the first petal that I had painted look like it's in the foreground and the petals that I'm painting now are behind the original petals. So, and it's easy to do because the other petals are dry have dried already and I have no worries about the ink blending from one petal to another. I could have added splatter extra splatter but there are little dots in the design so I decided to leave the design exactly as it was and to get a perfect match as far as color for my label my sentiment label I just painted some spiced marmalade ink on a scrap of watercolor paper and tried it and I'm going to stamp my sentiment on that in dark blue this is just one sentiment you make me smile from the friendship sentiment strips you can see that i've left them all joined together and i just stamp it i just ink a part of that sentiment and then mask either side to make sure when i do darker inking uh, with the versamark versafine ink that i won't get any on my label it'll just stamp on the masking paper i have either side and then I cut out my little sentiment and finalize putting the card together. It's a larger than usual card for me. It's 4.5 by 6 and a quarter inches. And I've got um, strong sequang tape on all the edges. And I'm just partially removing. This is a trick I learned from Julie Eversoll. And then when I'm sure it's in the right position, I pull all the tapes out and then I've got dimensional tape on the sentiment to uh, pop that up a little bit. I hope you enjoyed this technique. It's a really simple one with very few supplies. You can see more of my projects on my blog cards.heathertelford.com